This is music, and this is a UFO attack. <laughs> Welcome to another haul video. In this video, I'm going to show you a haul I picked up at a court here in Copenhagen. Uh, what it did was uh, they have like different stores around town. So I went to the web shop and I ordered some stuff I would like to add to my collection. And then I went and picked it up at one of their stores because my plan was to just see if there was more stuff I could buy in store. They didn't really have anything in store I wanted to pick up, but I still managed to buy some pretty cool things in this uh, haul I bought online. So I got some CDs and some vinyl. Let's start with the CDs. Up first, Dr. Living Death. Awesome crossover thrash, very inspired by um, suicidal tendencies. And this one has my favorite uh, Dr. Living Death song on it, UFO Attack. Um, this is just great, good fun, high energy crossover thrash. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you like thrash metal. Up next, um, we have some more thrash metal, Terra Maze, and this one is called uh, Anhedonia. Uh, progressively, at least progressively leaning uh, thrash metal. I haven't heard this one in many years. Uh, I did have a digital copy at some point i got a, a holix promo uh but i you know i saw wow they have this one it was very cheap actually so i obviously decided to pick it up some more uh so stuff here uh easy grim easy grim and this one is called the ferryman's end death thrash i have another easy grim uh album which is very good so th again this one was very cheap almost criminally cheap i think as far as i remember so i decided to grab it um, and see what that is like um rain control over anger i have one album by these guys i think it's th there are lots of bands called rain but i think uh, I have one album by these guys, which is pretty decent. So <clears throat> I decided, you know what? I'm going to grab this one and check it out. At, at least I think it's decent too, but who knows? Kind of thrash stuff, at least the other album I have. And the last CD, Lob of Lemmings, Just Human. Uh, this And this is just a uh, price sticker residue on the jewel case. Death Thrash, uh, I do have one Lava Lemmings album, that's certainly Death Thrash. Um, I assume this one is too, I have actually not heard it. So uh, this this one was a bit more pricey, So, but you know, whatever. I decided to grab it because I like uh, the other album that I have. Okay, let's turn to some vinyl. So up first, a picture disc, uh, Mandalorian Season 2 with Ahsoka. On the back here and uh yeah this one i think it's been maybe shrink wrapped a little bit too uh tight but i think i think the record itself is okay it's just the uh, the um jacket that's uh, you know as you know it's been uh, wrapped too tightly you know what i mean so there you go it's probably going to be uh good i do have uh, the soundtrack from the first season, which is great. Okay, up next, uh, Trust, Savage, or maybe Savage, because uh, looks like all the song titles here are in English. So yeah, French heavy metal band from back in the day. Um, so yeah, I just this one was very cheap. I think this one was like 30 kroner or something, which is insanely cheap. Uh, I decided to grab some more uh, trust. So there's this one here. Uh, and here the titles are in French. So I assume they sing in French here. Uh, and it's a gatefold. Looks like this. 
so yeah um i think i is it self-titled looks like it i thought it had well whatever uh it's probably gonna be good that's the important part up next uh take you home by mass i think i think i've seen is it mega jeff or is it scott waters uh talk about this band so you know they had this one in their web shop it was decently priced so i figured you know what I'll, I'll grab it and check it out it looks a bit maybe like it's some melodic hard rock um the type of glam metal where they don't wear spandex and leather all that stuff but more like streetwear or whatever of course it doesn't matter what they look like it's the music that matters um up next barricades by hell's bells uh kind of a single ep thing uh they're going for a quite different look though right so uh yeah it's gonna be interesting a bit of ring wear but that's fine i don't have a problem with that it adds to the charm now uh a couple of reissues uh demolition hammer uh tortured existence uh, this artwork, along with um, release from Agony, kind of freaked me out when I was younger, but uh, there, it was also kind of awesome. So I decided to grab this one um, as well. And while I was at it, you know, Epidemic of Violence, Demolition Hammer. So, you know, why not? They kind of belong together in a way. Um Death Dealer, Keeper of the Flame, another record I picked up because it was cheap. I think this was also 30 Danish kroner or something. Um, maybe 50, but that's cheap too. And uh, the last uh, record here I'm going to show you, and the last item in this haul is Real to Real by Dark Star. Um, melodic hard rock, sometimes heavy metal, I've seen them describe as that. I don't, I haven't heard a full length album by them, but I do have uh, the uh, FM Coast to Coast um, compilation, which does feature Voice of America, which I think is a fine kind of AOR-ish song. So there you go, just a bunch of stuff I picked up in uh, technically a local, a chain of local record stores. Um, and obviously I would recommend if you can do it, support your local record stores. If you have a local record store, of course, um, we have some really good ones here in Copenhagen, the Accord record stores, Mephisto, of course, uh, there's a record store called Sound Station, there's Mint, uh, there's Sex Beat Records, um, there is uh, Michael Denner's Beat Pop. Um, so, if you can, support your local record store. If you can't, you know, it's okay. Thanks for watching.